Good evening, we are on Thursday the 2nd of June 2022. It is now um, 20.46pm. We must give God thanks and uh, continue to pray and never give up on prayer and never give up on praying for people who it's obviously they need more prayer. So we thank God, if you haven't already heard the video I did last night, to give God thanks for the verdict in favour of Johnny Depp on St Augustine Meditations. We continue to pray for him because we would like him to be right with God in the sense that he's not grown up knowing the Christian faith the way it should be taught if he learned anything from an uncle or someone like that in a um, I don't want to condemn any Christian but the teaching is not as the disciples taught that's all I'll say about that so we'll continue for him to be converted to Jesus Christ and to serve him because he could save millions of souls for Christ if he turned to Christ the way Christ has the power to convert him as he did Saint Paul who persecuted Christians so don't give up on praying for him but he's not the highlight anymore we'll continue to pray quietly for him amongst ourselves we don't have to highlight it in any video, but we will continue to pray for him. However, we must pray for the loser in the trial, in the defamation trial. I think it would be foolish of her to appeal for the simple reason she cannot afford to pay what she is supposed to pay to Johnny Depp and she will put herself in more financial trouble than she's already in and she cannot accuse the judge wrongly I watched everything live I didn't just or only watch recordings or snippets I sat and watched everything put everything aside to listen and watch and observe and I believe the judge was extremely fair she held a tight court she was very uh, organized disciplined fair and obviously we didn't see the jury we didn't need to to see them but they were being watched by behavioral experts and they reported back to people on internet and elsewhere, discussed what they saw, what, what it meant, and um, they were very attentive. And the fact of the matter is, not looking at all the evidence again, this is a prayer video, but the jury believed Johnny Depp was telling the truth and the jury did not believe Amber they believe she lied about many things and lied to them and and also she hasn't done any favors to abused women by claiming she stands for them she's harmed the movement and she's done a favour to abused men by being found guilty of lying so any abused men out there they should be brave enough now to go to court and tell the court they've been abused and let the court deal with the abuser correctly 
and this is what equality should be about. Anyone can be abused, old, young, babies, men or women, simple. I don't believe anyone should appeal against this judgment. It's been scrutinized too much. They have too much to lose by making wrong decisions. They were being watched by the world. And as for the Sun newspaper where I live, it's always been a load of rubbish. A load of rubbish. Nobody values the Sun in England. And if you do, I'm sorry, but you lack intellect, education or intelligence. They put page three girls on there. Semi-naked. I'm not criticising the girls, that's how the society was. I'm not criticising any of that, but I'm criticising the newspaper. They have to have headlines and they abused the character, nature of Johnny Depp. He is nothing the way they put him up for. And they took the support without evidence, no strong evidence was ever revealed, no pictures of cuts, slashes, damage from rings, damage from bottles or anything, no real forensic evidence was in that court or they would have found him guilty of everything he was accused of, trust me, they were a thorough jury and I put my hands up to them, God bless them. They were honest, very good. I didn't just see snippets, I watched absolutely everything, gave up everything to watch and listen. I think it's a wonderful verdict for honesty and truth. And thank you all for joining me in prayer because I know many of you did, I've had messages. So God bless you. Now I will begin with this evening's healing prayers for every day for the 2nd of June, a Thursday, and see how far we get this evening. So we begin with a prayer, and I'm praying for all of you, and those who need prayer at the moment, and we must pray for Amber. She is a baptised Catholic, as a baby or child raised in the Catholic faith, rejected God, says she's an atheist we will pray for her conversion to God the Holy Spirit is upon her in her but clouded over in darkness by her lifestyle maybe she has to hit rock bottom before she will cry out to God there must be a spark there we must pray for that spark to flame up she turns to God and repents and asks forgiveness where it needs to be asked. And we pray for her. She really needs prayer. She's wounded her too, but she took her woundedness out on a husband. The way that world looks at husbands, you can... It's not the same as a sacred marriage, but it was a marriage nevertheless. It was a commitment and they loved each other at one time. That love was stomped on. So we pray for them both to find peace, joy and happiness wherever they are in the world. So I'll continue now. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit of men. Come Holy Spirit. Fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. An act of contrition. I say this for Amber Heard. Oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins because they offend you who are so good and with your help I will not sin again. Amen. Guardian Angel Prayer Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The Jesus Prayer, the prayer of the heart. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. I'm now going to share with you the meditations or the prayers for 2nd of June. These are healing prayers for you, myself and others who need. Excuse me, I have a tickle in my nose. The reading is taken from 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. We compel every thought to surrender in obedience to Christ. The reflection, when we think wrong or immoral thoughts, soon we act on them and believe them. When we change our thought patterns, we change our behavior and our beliefs. We need healing of our thoughts. We need to purify our thoughts and to think positively. The prayer. Give me the grace to put my mind under your Lordship God. Help me to acknowledge my sin and never lose sight of the vision you have for me. Amen. Prayer after reading sacred scripture. Let me not, O Lord, be puffed up with worldly wisdom which passes away. Grant me that love which never abates, that I may not choose to know anything among human beings, but Jesus and him crucified. I pray to you, loving Jesus, that as you have graciously given me to drink in with delight the words of your knowledge, so you would mercifully grant me to attain one day to you, the fountain of all wisdom, and to appear forever before your face. Amen. Prayer for others. O oh Jesus, have mercy on your holy church. Take care of it. O oh Jesus, have pity on poor sinners. 
especially those lost like Amber, and save them from hell. O oh Jesus, bless my father, bless my mother, my brothers and sisters, and all I ought to pray for, as your heart knows how to bless them. O oh Jesus, have pity on the poor souls in purgatory, and give them eternal rest. Prayer for Christian unity, that means between all Christians, no matter what their denomination, Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical, Baptist, Methodist, all the crazy ones as well, may they know the truth of Christ. Lord mercifully, Lord, look mercifully on your people and pour out on us the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Grant that we may constantly grow in love of the truth and seek the perfect unity of Christians in our prayers and our deeds through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray for peace in Ukraine. Pray against all the wars that are going on in the world, those that we hear about and those that we don't know about. There are many wars of all kinds. So we pray for peace. O oh God, from whom are holy desires, right counsels and just deeds, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that we may serve you with our whole hearts and live quiet lives under your protection, free from the fear of our enemies. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me to come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee for all eternity. Amen. And the following prayer is before a crucifix. I have one over there, you can see a big one doesn't matter the size, even a tiny rosary crucifix you can pray with. Behold, O kind and most sweet Jesus, I cast myself on my knees in your sight, and with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beseech you that you would impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope and charity, with a true repentance for my sins and a firm desire of amendment, while with deep affection and grief of soul, I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate your five most precious wounds, hands, feet, and side. Having before my eyes that which David spoke in prophecy of you, O oh good Jesus. They pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. A night prayer, because it's night time. Luke 2, 29 to 32. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rest with him in peace. At last, all-powerful Master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all nations the light to enlighten the Gentiles and give glory to Israel, your people. Glory be to the Father 
and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Save us Lord. Evening praise for the light. O joyful light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we've come to the sun's hour of rest, the lights of evening around us shine. We praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Worthy are you, O Lord, at all times to be praised with undefiled tongue. O Son of God, O giver of life, therefore you are glorified throughout the universe. Psalm 61. Prior to that, Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 61 In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you attack me to break me down? as though I were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence. Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their hearts they curse. In God alone be at rest my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my stronghold. My fortress, I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory. The rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, the great an illusion. Placed in the scales they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay us all according to our deeds. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your comments. Thanks for sharing. And keep praying for the victims of abuse, perpetrators, and no one else will pray for Amber, but I am asking you to pray for her, not just myself. Can't say that I like her, but I'm required by God to love her with God's love. <laughs> I pray for her conversion. 
and we all love Johnny Depp so we'll continue to pray for his life to be turned around and for him to be happy and carrying on with his life for as long as he wants to well do what he does so well so I'm sending you God's peace in abundance may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord and God bless you and heal you